Hello Capricorn, it's Erica getting ready to record your love story here. This is going to be um, a timeless reading, so it's going to be very specific, so it's either going to be your situation or not, and it's also, because it's timeless, it's um, something you could be going through now, maybe you've already gone through it in the past, or you might be heading towards this scenario in the future. So. Um, if this doesn't resonate, definitely check out your Venus, your rising and your moon sign videos, because they will likely resonate more than your sun sign, or they can often resonate more than your sun sign. And I want to thank the, those of you that have written in to me about how much my 2020 playlist, along with my lightworker series has re really supported you during this time of uncertainty. So if you haven't checked those out and you're new to my channel, definitely um, if you're feeling the need for some extra support of how to stay in your light and in your strength, then um, I will link them at the end of this video. And if you feel called towards any particular title, by all means, um, there's usually a message in there for you. So with that, let's get started. So Capricorn, let's see what's going on in your love story. So we have somebody here who's building up the confidence, building up the confidence for a new start. Maybe somebody asking somebody out, maybe somebody wanting a fresh new reset in a relationship. And then we have your commitment is being tested. Okay. But there are some things in the way. There are some challenges in the way. There are some obstacles. Um, there are some difficulties at the present moment, but let's see where it's going. Balancing spirituality and practicality. All right. That is the full moon in Pisces energy, which is all about, um, you know, making your dreams a reality, making your spiritual truth a reality, not living only in your romantic, dreamy, daydreamy state about the relationship, but this is taking a hard look at what's the real tangible reality here. You know, let's get those rose colored glasses off and really take a look at what we're dealing with. Um, so let's see how this is, uh, let's see how this is happening. Capricorn, get some more details here. So we have the Three of Cups, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the King of Cups. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Wow. All right. I totally see what's going on here. And the Empress. So there's an opportunity to, um, to create something new and successful. However, it, 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 it may not be with this person. And here's why I say that looks like there's a situation where you've both been putting in the effort. You've both been putting in the effort here and, um, into a situation, but there may have been outside influences that have affected the relationship. Um, one person, you know, could have, um, potentially had a third party involved to some degree, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like an affair or anything. It just could be influences of friends, of parents. Maybe they have an overbearing mother or an, um, a strict father that has very strong ideas about who you should be with. But it does look like there's been effort put in and um, there is this, this love here. And again, I don't want to say it's not for all of you that there was a, you know, a third party here, but it does look like you're both moving into a crossroads and kind of looking to see what the other one's going to do. Um, you're getting the, one of you is getting the two of wands. The other is getting the two of pentacles. So you're both at a crossroads trying to figure out what to do. 
this is balancing spirituality and practicality, which is like what's tangible, what's real. Um, it's like you're both could be kind of cold and icy towards each other right now. You can be pretty guarded. One of you is guarded. One of you is like a little bit like no drama. I don't want to deal with drama, but it does look like there's love here between you. So let me just keep pulling cards and actually get more layers to this. This is an interesting reading, Capricorn. Why is the Three of Cups here for this one person? Eight of Wands. Okay. And why is the King of Wands here? The Ten of Wands. Wow. All right. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Queen of Pentacles. All right. Yeah, this is looking more like there's a, there's other um, influences that have, you found out about other influences here. And um, maybe you thought things were all good in the relationship, but ultimately there was potentially someone being a little bit of, um, someone may have stepped out or at least not necessarily had an actual affair, but at least was thinking about it or maybe started talking to someone else. And it looks like one of you was the only one really putting the effort in here. In reality, one of this person over here was, is taking the responsibility for potentially following their passions. And this person over here, it's like suddenly found out some information of influences of a third party. And this person is ready to cut cut this person out. Looks like. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Ace of Wands. Okay. And why is the Seven of Wands here? The Judgment. Yeah. There's a lot of shame over here. It feels like. This is where this relationship has been tested. Why is the King of Cups here in the dynamic between you? strength card yeah you know um this is interesting because it's like no i want something real something that aligns for me i want a new beginning here this person does feel like i can't look at this like this card of judgment it's like there's so much shame and sacrifice here. There's just like this. I want to be resurrected. I want to be reborn again. So it does look like this person over here is taking the responsibility for. And it may not even have been a third party. But it could have just been where one person was just putting in more of the effort than the other. And this person is now taking the responsibility. And why is the Two of Wands here for this person? The Eight of Cups. So this person is trying to figure out whether to walk away. Do I walk away? What do I do? Am I happy here? Like I started this whole thing. Like let's take off the rose colored glasses and really see. And what is this person of the Two of Pentacles? And the Death card. So interesting because I'm getting that. I'll be interested to see the guidance because I'm not getting um, a conclusion to this love story. It's more of a TBD, but it does look like this person might be wanting to walk away. This person over here is either going to have to really transform themselves, be reborn again. They're getting the judgment and the death card. Um, or they're going to see that they acted in the way that they did or they didn't put the effort in. Um, and they're trying to figure that out. And, um, in fact, let's get the Page of Swords, another card, the Page of Wands. Wow. Two pages, two cards of communication, two cards about being uncertain, unsure. Is there going to be follow through? Get another card, the Six of Pentacles. But there is, um, I 
I'm hearing one person saying like, you need to show me the truth and you need to tell me and we need to communicate. You need to be clear with me. And then you also need to show me. So one person's like, I'm going to watch to see what you're going to do. And this person's like, okay, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the actions I'm going to take. I'm going to show you why I want to be reborn again. And I'm going to show you that this is a reciprocated relationship. I'm going to put the effort in. That's what I'm feeling very strongly here. And let me get another card in the middle here. The temperance card. Yeah, so this is, um, there's opportunity big time to, um, to shift this. But it is going to take some effort um, for the person who either wasn't putting in the effort or maybe went somewhere else. And, um, but there is opportunity to be re either reborn and if it can't be reborn, then it might need to end. But this is that moment of like, what are we doing? What are we going to do? What is the reality here? We can't ignore this anymore. So let's get the guidance for you, Capricorn. What's the best guidance for Capricorn or their cross watcher here? Soulmate and unrequited love. Wow. Those just jumped out. It could be very much that it could go one of two ways. And um, it, like I said, there's, does it doesn't feel like a conclusion. It looks like a TBD. So if you're going through this right now, um, you know, there's always opportunity. There's always um, shifting in energies. There's always potentials. I don't like to do predictive readings in terms of this is the absolute conclusion here um, in the first place. But it does look like for some of you, this could be simply um, a very important soulmate relationship that you've learned the lesson. Um, and around unrequited love, there's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep the relationship going and that maybe that relationship's run its course or this is the lesson that is meant to be learned by the two of you about understanding where you know there has been no balance in the relationship it's been more one-sided than the other but it does look like there's potential for it to become balanced but again tbd I'm actually going to pull a third card of guidance here. I'm curious what they're going to say. Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. Yeah, TBD. What are you looking to create? Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right, Capricorn. I hope that was helpful. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.